Hey guys, Anton here, and this is my stunning model, Shannon. I am gonna show you how to get this beautifully smoky look right here and right now. Are we ready for this last look? I'm ready. Oh my God, Jiggy's ready. All right, buddy, I gotta go put you in my room, in my air-conditioned room on my queen-size bed. Oh. I know, poor baby. Luxurious life. You're so dramatic. Okay, let's get started with a little base. This is Lancome. It's the Ombre Hypnos Stilo number four Brune Captiva. You know what? I'll write all that in the description for you because I'm literally gonna faint trying to pronounce this. Okay, so I'm just applying this all over the lid here. I love this. This is such a good kind of like steel sort of silvery gray, fabulous color. I love, love, love. And then I'm gonna take a 217 from MAC and I'm gonna kind of blend this into the edges. Shannon, how are you feeling? Am I killing you with this brush or is it okay? No, it feels great. It's really relaxing. Oh, actually, good. Yeah, you actually have a really relaxing energy, so I don't feel like you're transferring any anxiety. Like, I just feel really relaxed and good. Wow, she misread me. <laughs> so, same thing underneath, straight up all the way for me. Since this isn't a super, super dark color, it works really, really well on hooded eyes because you're actually going to get more you're gonna get more shape underneath and you're gonna get more um, surface area from this. And I like to kind of go in the waterline with this as well. So this is the Tartlet in Bloom palette. I love this and it's a really just good kind of, it's got your good basic kind of neutrals and smoky eye colors in there. It's happening. It's a good one, right? Pretty. It's beautiful. Mm. Yeah, I used to have one like that. You did? I actually had that and I didn't know how to use it so I returned it. Well, let's sell you <laughs> another one. <laughs> So I'm using Smokehouse, this is the darkest shade. And my biggest, biggest tip when it comes to working with shallow or hooded eyes is you wanna concentrate the dark on the lid area. So basically, I'm raising this dark up into where I want her crease to be. Go ahead and open. So now you see that this almost gives the illusion of a larger lid where all the black shadow is. And then from there, we're just gonna use more neutral colors to do the transition. Don't be afraid to blend the edges out. This is a Morphe M503. So let's line this situation right now. This is one of my faves. This is from Sicily. What do they call these? The Fido Coal Star Waterproof Sparkling Black. It's a fabulous mouthful, isn't it? Let's do this situation. Up all the way. So I'm lining just underneath her waterline. And I'm kind of blending this against that Lancome eyeshadow base that we used previously. So now I'm using my 242 from MAC. And I'm just kind of going to blend that all together. Make it look nice and soft and diffused. And go back in with my eyeliner one more time. I'm gonna go back to my little Tarte in Bloom palette right here. And I'm gonna use this neutral shade in the middle, Smarty Pants. I have so many things to say about that that I'm just not gonna say anything. Okay, I'm gonna use my M433. So I'm actually gonna basically place this transition color more on her brow bone. So it's gonna go up here, and this is gonna give the illusion of a more defined crease. So instead of placing that where the crease would naturally be, which is basically where the top of the black shadow is, it's going above. So I'm essentially manipulating this whole situation by putting the transition color on her brow bone, essentially. Because she has all this gorgeous space. I mean, this is fabulous real estate right here. Let's not even kid ourselves. So that is where our new crease shall be. Mm-hmm. So same thing underneath, same shadow, same brush. Look up all the way. I'm gonna blend this underneath just to, just to blend out the edges of that black. And don't be afraid to kind of fill this whole under eye pocket area because that's really gonna balance the shadow and the eyes with the top that we did. 
And this color is so neutral and so light that you can't really make a mistake. You gotta just go for it and get in there. Okay, a little pinky goat lash situation. I love this company so much. They make such beautiful lashes. These are fantastic, and they have a nice little curl to them, but after we put them on, we're gonna give them another little curl. I'll get to that in a second. Wait, who are you? Muna? Muna? M-U-N-A? Easy, easy enough. She's fabulous. She's happening right now. Let me see, open. I like to kind of, look down, I kind of like to push this up a little bit while it's drying, just to get a little bit of a lift from it. That's a good tip. Mm-hmm. But what we're actually gonna do, straight down, is I'm gonna give this lash a curl. Okay, last thing, I swear, this time it's real. Little Kat Von D tattoo liner, this is Trooper. I love this, straight down. Just wanna do a little bit, just right against the lash line here, and I'm gonna kind of extend it onto the lid. Because oftentimes with hooded or shallow eyes, the liner tends to get hidden, so you can actually get away with going a little bit thicker. So I am going to do so just to give a little bit of that extra smokiness. You're like serving. <laughs> you are. You. I wanna feel you. Uh, I'm obsessed with the smoky eye. I hope you love it. I do. Because that. I love it. If you guys have any questions, please leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you soon. And I'll see you soon. Oh, I'll see you soon. Too. She's like, who's he talking to? <laughs>